God wants us to be so full of Scripture that we can read it in our minds all the time. 하나님께서 지금 여기서 말씀하시는 것이 무엇이냐면은 우리 마음속에 완전히 딱 새겨가지고 책처럼 우리가 그냥 우리 마음을 보고 읽을 수 있을 정도로 말씀을 채우라는 것이. To be truly saturated means that we are always meditating upon the Word of God. 진짜 하나님의 말씀에 꽉차 있는 삶이 무엇이냐면은 언제나 암기하고 명상하는 삶 말씀을. Psalms 1 says, "In His law He meditates day and night." 그래서 시편 1장에 보면은 주야로 하나님의 말씀을 저는 묵상합니다. Deuteronomy says, "When you go out, when you come in, when you lay down, when you rise up." 나갈 때, 들어갈 때, 누울 때, 쓸때다 하나님의 말씀을 생각합니다. Proverbs 6 has the same command. 다만 6장에서 뭐라고 하면 똑같은 명령이 있어요, 하나님의. 21 to 26. Proverbs 6 21 to 26. 6장 20절부터 21절에 그렇죠. For those good students who are writing down. 자, 여러분들 필기하고 계시면은 어, 적어세요. Proverbs 7 1 and 3 as well. 그 잠언 그 7장 1절 그리고 3절. Job 22:22. 그 욥기 어, 22장 22절. Proverbs 2 1 through 5. 어 잠언 어 1 through 5. 2 1 through 5. Proverbs 2. 2장 1절로 8절. 8절. Uh, Proverbs 3 1 through 4. 그리고 3장 uh, 1절로 4절 잠언. 잠언. And on and on and on. 끝없이 계속 있어요. 하나님의 It should be very obvious that God wants his word in our hearts. 하나님께서 원하시는 것이 무엇이냐면은 우리의 말씀에 말씀이 우리의 마음을 채우는 것이에요. 분명하죠, 성경에. But somehow there's this idea that if we just read the Bible every morning, that we'll make it through the end of time. It's, it's not going to happen like that. We need to be full of God's Word. The Holy Spirit is in God's Word. 하나님의 성령이 하나님의 말씀에 있습니다. And it made my hallucinations go away. 제가 항상 막 계속 막 이상한 상상을 했는데 그거를 해결을 해 주셨어요. It gave me more joy than drugs ever did. 마약 하던 것보다 훨씬 더 행복한 그 기쁨. So, I'm going to tell you how to do it. 그래서 제가 경험한 거 말씀드릴게요. Do you want to know? 자, 알고 싶으시죠? Yes. All right. If a drug addict can memorize or a former drug addict, you can memorize too. 자, 전 마약 중독자가 외울 수 있습니다. 다할수 있습니다, 여러분. 말안 하시죠? First, you decide. You make a decision that you're going to memorize. 자, 여러분들 먼저 제가 말씀드리기 전에 약속하셔야 될게 있는데, 자, 황경 이제 외우기로 약속하시는 겁니다. If you think you are dumb, that is the first reason why you should start memorizing. 자, 여러분들이 머리가 안 좋다고 생각하시면, 아, 머리가 안 좋으신가 외워야 돼요. There's a part of our brain called the hippocampus. 그 히포캠퍼스라고 하는 그 뇌의 딱 부분이 있는데 and it's related to memory. 그게 그 기억력에 관계가 있는 거예요. And London taxi cab drivers have been studied with brain scans. 그 런던 그, 그 어떤 연구팀에서 그 뇌를 연구했는데 and their hippocampuses are giant. 근데 그 사람들의 그, 그 기관은 아주 엄청 커요. Because they have to memorize all the different streets. 왜냐면 그 서로 다른 그 거리 네임 이름을 다 외워야 되고 이게 보니까 해마 같아요. Someone that gets tired easily walking should walk more. Someone who gets tired easily when they walk should take more walks. 어, 여러분들 걸어가는 거좀 싫어하시는 분들 아주 왜 지루했겠나 하시는 분들은 더 걸으셔야 돼요. Strength comes through exercise. 여러분들이 강해지시는 거는 운동할 때 그렇게 생각해요. The mind becomes stronger by using it. 그래서 우리의 마음은 운동을 해야 강해지는 거예요. Don't make excuses for your brain. 그 뇌가 안 좋다고 하게 핑계대지 마시고 사용을 하셔야 돼. You will insult your brain. 왜냐면 여러분들의 그 뇌가 그 정도가 아니거든요. Decide that you're going to do it. 여러분의 뇌는 엄청나게 발달할 가능성이 있으니까 결심하시는 것이 좋은 겁니다. Next, pray earnestly. 자, 기도를 아주 열렬하게 하는 것이 어, 제가 말씀드리고 싶어요. God needs our decision first. 자, 우리가 결심했기 때문에 첫 번째 단계, 결심. But we need his help. 하지만 결심한다고 다 되는 게 아니라 하나님의 도, 도움이 있어야죠. Kneel down. 자, 무릎 꿇으시고. Not now. 지금 말고. And 
Tell him about your decision to memorize scripture. Tell him that you tell him the reasons why you want to. Tell him the reasons why you want to memorize. Bring to him his command to memorize. Bring to him the example of Jesus who memorized God's word. And ask him humbly in Jesus' name to make you mighty in God's word. And believe that he will. And then remember the other things that I'm about to tell you. This is work for me. Next, number three, choose a version. Don't memorize from five different versions. You will never know which one it came from. Just pick one. You can study other ones, but just pick one for memorizing. Choose a more literal translation. You don't need anybody to chew your food for you and give it to you. Usually they mix their own saliva with it. You don't want their saliva. They also swallow some of it and they don't give you the whole thing. Just let the Holy Spirit be your interpreter and get a literal translation. In English, it's different than in Korean. I'm sure you have your paraphrases here as well. But whatever it is, stay away from the paraphrases for your memorization. Research has shown that when language is more poetic, it is easier to remember. Even letters that are decorative are easier to remember because it takes more concentration to read them. So the fonts on the computer that are just straight lines, no swirls or decorations, are more difficult to remember. So if there's a, a version that has it appears more difficult words, it doesn't necessarily mean that it's the worst version. It could be for memorizing the best. Uh, the versions that are more poetic could be better for you to, to use for memorization. Number four, choose your verses. What verses should you memorize? Well, think of it as choosing seeds to plant in your garden. There are some things that you should eat that you would rather not eat. There are some foods that you should eat, but you would rather not eat them. You still plant the seeds. In other words, uh, some verses that you will memorize, you will memorize simply because they are a rebuke to you. But most of the verses will be things that you like. So if you like beans, plant beans. Eat what tastes good. The Bible says in Luke 24 that the disciples' hearts burned within them. While Jesus opened to them the scriptures. So if you're reading the Bible and a verse burns in your heart with love and devotion to God. 
우리가 하나님을 더 사랑하고 말씀을 사랑하도록 만들 겁니다. That's the best verse for you. 그것이 여러분들이 외워야 되는 가장 좋은 성경절이죠. Seek God's wisdom and what verses to memorize. 무엇을 외워야 할지 하나님께서 가르쳐 주실 겁니다. How many verses should you memorize? 얼마나 많은 성경절을 외워야 될까? There was a man by the name of Lionel Stankage. Lionel Stankage라는 사람이 성경절을 많이 외웠나 봐요. I take that back. There is a man. I believe he's still alive. I don't think his father is still alive. And his father was in a German concentration camp during World War II where they were underfed and overworked. Just a little bit of food every day and a little bit of water. He chewed his food 150 times. Every bite. And I think he chewed his water something like 50 times. And the, the, the moving of the jaw, I understand, releases uh, either hormones or digestive enzymes. I'm not sure which, but it helps. The tongue, the tongue is red because the skin is very thin and there is little space between the blood and the skin. So he was absorbing those nutrients directly into his bloodstream. He lived. And many people died. And some of the only people that lived of the original prisoners were those that joined him in chewing 150 times. What am I saying? The question I asked was, how many verses should you memorize? Most importantly, it's that you keep memorizing. Ultimately, it may not be the number that you memorize. Just make sure you're digesting the word. And don't ask me how many I've memorized. Because it doesn't matter. And there's a lot of verses in the Bible. So I always want to memorize more. For most people, two a week. Two to three a week. Two to four if you're more advanced. If you're consistent, you'll have 100 in a year and 1,000 in 10 years. You might say, I can memorize more than that. Maybe you can. But can you remember them? There's also a system of review which I will share with you. Choose small verses here and there. Unless God impresses you to memorize an entire passage or book. The Bible says, precept must be upon precept, line upon line, here a little and there a little. I have a whole study on proof texting. What is proof texting? People that say a text to prove something. Right. And I can show you from the Bible that Jesus and the apostles did it all day long. They, they used proof text. Sure. They quoted small portions of scripture. The verse divisions are artificial. So it wasn't even divided like that to begin with. 
그리고 하나님께서 그걸 나누신 것이 아니, 아니기 때문에 그거를 이렇게 조금 잘라가지고 하는 건좀 웃긴 거죠, 솔직히. 